you can edit and cut later. Tell everybody what it is. What'd you build there? A uh, little blazer engine. Which is what kind of an engine? Vacuum. All right. And how does it work? Uh, flame gets sucked into the piston there. Closes the uh, slide valve. Move slow. Right there. Heat cools down, creates a vacuum inside the cylinder. Pushes the piston up like that. It opens the uh, valve right here again. Repeats the process with the flywheel. What pushes the piston up? Camshaft right here. You know, what pushes the piston up? And it creates a low pressure inside the cylinder. Uh, what? Creates a low pressure on the top of the cylinder and the high pressure air, the atmospheric air, pushes the piston up from the bottom. Because of the vacuum? High pressure to low pressure. Turns in a clockwise direction. You want to take uh, some footage of the valve here? From the cam and everything. Valve opens, closes, cam, little roller. This engine hasn't run yet. Well, it did sort of for a little bit on a test run with a different piston. But we haven't really fully assembled it and polished it and put a new piston in it until right now. We made the uh, cam roller out of, what did we make that out of? Uh, oil light. We made that out of oil light to keep it lubricated. And we made the mistake of making the piston out of uh, oil light. Exactly. And this engine does not like any oil at all. Any oil on the valve, it will not work. So the oil light piston, which we were worried that might be a bad idea, turned out to be a really bad idea. A little size comparison. Because any oil, as soon as the piston heated up, it would dump oil in there. So I had it running for just a little while, and then the oil would get all over everything inside there, and, and it wouldn't work. So now we've got a brand new phosphor bronze piston, and nothing's really broken in, nothing's even run, and we're going to fire it up, and we're going to go for its first test run just to see if it even runs. So, if you want, Jeremy, if you want me to start it, mm -hmm. or do you want to start it? You can start it. I got the fire extinguisher. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So really, all we have to do is denatured alcohol here. In theory, if everything goes as planned, then we have to let it preheat a little bit here because it's going to get condensation. You can see some condensation on there. Why is there condensation on there? Heat. Mm -hmm. Well, the cooling of the heat in the aluminum. Let's see if we get this little bugger to run. Sure looks pretty though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Here, why don't you give me this for a second, dear. Leave it go. Let the hand right out of there. Let's look at the guy that built it. All right. <laughs> All right. Embarrassing. All right. Go ahead and make a nice steady foam there for people to watch so they don't puke. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can go. Hey, there we go. Okay, we can adjust this. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> pretty good though. Look at that go. Oh, that slowed it down. Oh yeah, that affects the throttle big time. Makes that optimum flame position. I don't know how fast you think that's going. Yeah, I'm about 2,000 RPM. I'm about 2,500 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 RPM. I'm about
bit full of gas, too. There's your little motor. This all works good, too. this up a little bit here, a little more graphite inside the cylinder. Well, closer. Closer slows it down. Well, that runs pretty good for a brand new motor that we made. A mill and a lathe that grinds. Oh, look at that. You're, you're breathing. Stop breathing. You're moving the flame. Oh boy, that'd be tough to drive down the road that way, wouldn't it? <laughs> moving the flame back and forth. Quit breathing. Roll up the windows. You're wrecking our speed. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't like that. Don't you totally agree? This thing could like smoke a Prius, like completely. Anything will smoke a Prius. <laughs> Get it back on it and see how fast it goes. Alright. Alright. 